Hi, this is Mahesh Ravi. In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to create an interesting TV show poster with a stock image in Photoshop. So I have this image downloaded from unsplash.com. And to start with, it's a black and white image. So to start with, I'm going to create a new um, style layer with gradient map. And I'm going to change the gradient. So double click on the, uh, the window and I'm going to change the first level to red and the second, the last level to white. I'm going to click OK. So that layer will be created on top of it. It will have a mask embedded on it. So I'm going to change the blending mode here to uh, get the effect that I want. Screen works pretty good. So I'm going to settle with screen and I'm reducing the opacity to around uh, 60 of that particular layer. Now what I need is, I don't want the entire image to appear like this. Uh, so I'm going to paint out a portion of the gradient map. So I'm going to take the brush tool and I'm going to paint black on the uh, layer mask. So that one portion of the image remains the same as the original and a portion of the image will have the gradient on it. Somewhat like this. All right, so this works pretty good. Now, uh, what I want to do with this image is the poster is that I need to add um, a double exposure on it. So um, I'm going to unsplash.com again, and I'm going to look for a high rise um, royalty free image, I mean, an image of some buildings. Uh, and I'm going to bring it back to Photoshop and I'm going to create a, a double exposure with it. So I'll look for the image. With this image looks uh, perfect. I'm going to download that. And I'll bring it right into our um, composition. Press Ctrl T to get the bounding box and scale it and place it where you want the second image to appear. So I'm going to place it somewhere around here. This yeah works. So now again, I'm going to play with the blending mode of that particular layer. I'm going to close the original image. Now change the blending mode of this uh, to, uh, let's see how uh, screen works. Okay, I, I like this uh, particular look. Now to make the effect more prominent, I'm going to duplicate the uh, building layer. And I'm going to drag it all the way down. And now from the uh, layer that we created with the person on it, I'm going to erase a portion of it so that it reveals the building underneath. Uh, yeah, slightly better like this. So it is going to reveal the background image, which is the cityscape. Um, yeah, better. Okay, cool. So, so it works. Now once I'm happy with that, uh, we'll add a glitz effect onto the image. So what for that, I'm, what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to save this image and uh, the, the whole image, I'm going to save it. Um, and okay, let me play with the opacity a bit, okay, yeah, for the first layer. All right, this looks perfect. Now I'm going to save this image as a JPEG. I'm going to take it online to an, an online tool to create glitz. And uh, we'll bring that image back here and do uh, some more edits with it. So um, let's save this image. Image Glitz Tool is a website which lets you uh, upload an image and play around with uh, the distortions. So um, I'm uploading the image that we just saved and automatically uh, show. Um, the glitch which uh, it automatically created now if we change the seed slider under the options we can play around with different uh, alterations and when you're happy with the glitch that you've got you can download it um, and bring it back to 
the composition. So yeah, I'm bringing back, you know, I brought in the glitz layer on top of our original layer. I'm going to play with, this glitz is very prominent right now, but I don't want this. So I'm going to reduce the opacity of the layer so that the glitz is slightly visible, only just a little bit visible. Yeah, so this is pretty good, looks good. We can see the line, we can see the colors um, separated. This is an interesting track. Now I'm going to add a text onto this. So let's type in uh, the title of our show. Let's call it Glitch itself. Right, let's play with the font. I'm going to change it. Okay, yeah. That looks pretty okay. Let's work with the kerning. So I, I just want to bring a little bit of glitch effect on the text um, itself. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is to rasterize the text layer so that we can uh, edit it as a raster layer rather than a, the vector layer. So I'm going to right click and rasterize the type. I'm going to select the bottom portion of the text with the uh, polygonal lasso selection tool. layer we have cut and I'm going to just play around with the position of the lower portion of the text so that it, it gives that glitchy um, effect to the text itself so okay so it works and reducing the opacity of the bottom layer a little bit um, then I'm going to create a new layer on top of this just uh, so that the light from the background looks like it's bleeding on uh, top of the text so I'm gonna create an empty layer I'm gonna pick the color from the background with the um, eyedropper tool and I'm using the brush tool again to uh, paint some highlights over the text that's good enough so you can scale and scaling the text down a bit positioning All right. You can use the eraser to just smoothen the edges of that particular layer. Okay. So the title is done. Let's let's create a subtitle as well. All right, so uh, that's it. This is a very straightforward, pretty uh, simple tutorial to create a poster. Uh, hope you have learned a couple of tips and techniques from this tutorial. Um, like the video, uh, subscribe to my channel. I'll be doing more videos like this and I'll see you soon with a new video. Thank you.